franchise hasn't won a cup since 1967. Oh, yeah, it was, it was still hard to watch. It hurts. It's still hard to watch. It's been over a decade of this shit. Good afternoon, YouTube. What's good, YouTube? How's it going, guys? Studio B21 back with another video. Like, now. subscribe, comment, do your thing. Socials, socials, up in the corner. Over there, over here. Up in the corner. Kevin! Okay. Um, so, we have officially entered into a beautiful springtime in Toronto. And you, if you're not from Toronto, there's always signs that spring has sprung. Like, um, cherry blossoms in High Park. Uh, the homeless encampments in Trinity Bellwood Parks. <laughs> and the of course... Construction on the, on the highways, yes. The 401. I am the gardener, always. But the most obvious sign that we are on the epitome of another beautiful summer in our fair city is the Leafs are out in May. Another oh, man, year of Leafs. fucking disappointment. Uh, we are Leafs fans, by the way. We, Not by choice. Hmm? We, uh, we worked at the ACC before it was the Scotiabank Arena. That's true. We we were there for the World Juniors. We were there for the All-Star Game. Baby McDavid and the Juniors. Baby McDavid. Team North America with the, with Austin with and Austin. McDavid. That was... I know. We are dating ourselves, so you can go back and figure out when we were in that building. Who knows? Yeah. You might have seen us yelling at each other in the hallways. Anyways, let's get right to the video, shall we? <laughs> let's go. Let's watch the carnage, shall we? Rolling puck. Zaka and Beecher go after Liljegren and take it away. John Beecher, high slot, rebound free, and it caroms into the corner. And at this juncture, Ray, any time you have the opportunity, send it toward the net so often. Oh. Yeah, it was, it was still hard to watch. It hurts. It's still hard to watch. It's been over a decade of this shit, and it still hurts. It's, it's, it's being up three goals with eight minutes left in the third. In 2013, all over again. And, and the announcer, Bob Cole, saying, yeah, pick, we're going to the next round. It's been how many years? It was since 1959. We haven't beaten the Bruins in a playoff series. We have, we won the Stanley Club sooner than we beat the Bruins in a playoff series. I know. So, uh, they yeah. just somehow are our absolute fucking kryptonite every year. Every year. Every goddamn year. You know, it's like, oh, we, we own Chara when, like, he was with Ottawa, but as soon as he went to Boston, he's like unstoppable. Just a monster. So mm. like, good Lord. So, what's our thoughts? As Toronto fans, you know what? Honestly, we've come to expect this almost every fucking year. It, it's kind of like you you have to love to hate the Leafs now, where it's just like, that's the only way we could deal. But at the same time, it's the, what's the definition of insanity? <laughs> Doing the same, same thing, thing over, over and, and over, over again. And expecting a different result. With the same core four. Hopefully, though more than likely not, because I'm because the board just has their heads so, shoved so far where the sun doesn't shine. Ooh, ooh uh, let me show you a, an Instagram video. This is this will be funny. Kind of uh, encapsulates the whole thing. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll queue it up right here. Oh no, this franchise hasn't won a cup since 1967. My players fucked me. Um, Mitch Marner cries on my bench and Willie Nylander won't play because he's got a headache Austin Matthews leads the league in scoring but takes game six off Shanahan I fucking quit um I'm going to Pittsburgh to coach for Daddy Dubas it's it's AI but it's freaking real man it's, like, it's 
it hits hard. It hits close to home. It hurts. You know, it's like, ah, oh. uh, So, let me let me ask you, Nano. Do you have what suggestions do you have to the Leafs from us lowly peasants on their ivory thrones? I say we go back to the eighties and nineties and uh, make us a Western Division team again. So we don't play Boston until the cup. That, that's that, that's and then at least we can lose in the finals. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have a relatively simple suggestion that honestly might have already come true by the time this video goes out. Whenever our fearless leader edits it, um, I am just simply calling for. Uh, Sheldon Keefe and uh, Brendan Shanahan's head on a pike outside of MLSE headquarters because you have had a Shanahan. You were hired on, I think, when you started working at yeah. MLSE. Yeah, I think that was the first Like year. a year, maybe a year after. So it's been just... Oh, uh, yeah, he was there. Yeah, I see him jogging. Just under a decade of your watch for this beloved team. And what have you done? You know, the playoff made the first round once. Because we didn't play Boston. Yeah. Yeah. And we played that. We, we were, when the pandemic year, with all Canadian teams, we were ranked number one. We played the eight seed, Montreal. And got our asses kicked. So, I... What was I going to say? Oh. What were you, you, you ran You ran me off my track of thought, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Sheldon Keith, Brendan Shanahan, all you have done is increase the seat prices so that way in the arena is full of suits. The true diehard fans are outside in MOS Square. And, you'll, and even then, they're not all there because you have implemented a raffle to get those tickets. Mind you, they are free. They are free. However, like, it's first come, first serve on the app. And with mm -hmm. bots, like the whole Ticketmaster thing, I'm surprised that you actually had the forethought to make it so that way they were not resellable. Because you know, like, any bot would have been making a cool $300 off that ticket. Oh, if that. If uh, that. Oh, that. That'd be on the low side. Baby. I'm being optimistic. Yeah. Um, My other suggestion is also a very widely known one. The core four needs to fucking go. Marner, I'm sorry, but where were you all playoffs? Like, yeah. Matthews has 69 very nice goals to keep him on our seat. Mm -hmm. He is a regular season beast. William Nylander, you are so close to being gone. However, those two goals in game five say... Or was it game six? Game, game six. Game six and, uh, saved you. Yeah. And, and John Tavares, your contract is so backloaded. Like, any GM taking on your contract would need a lobotomy. A lobotomy. Um, so, Marner, unfortunately, that leaves you. That leaves you. I hope you enjoy Pittsburgh. I hope you enjoy Calgary. Lord knows Edmonton will probably send us... No, they won't even send us uh, what's-his-face that got 50 goals over there that used to be ours. Hyman? Hyman! The one positive, though, that I did see out of this series is Matthew Nyes. That kid played his butt off. His at, he, he left his heart on there. His goals, I believe, truly should be worth a good contract in the future. I mean, let's be honest. We're going to be down a Canadian team after the next round. Vancouver and Edmonton play, to get, play each other. Well, at the same time, we're guaranteed the Canadian team. Yes. And for my prediction, maybe out of selfishness, I want to see Vancouver go to the finals. For two reasons. Really? For really? two reasons. Let me explain. What? Let me explain. Okay. They went from being absolute dog shit last year, firing Boost Boudreaux to one of the best off seasons they've had and truly earning their place in these playoffs. Now, my other more selfish reason is I want to see if us Canadians have learned our lesson and see if they burn down Vancouver if they lose in the finals in seven again. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll just go there for the looting. Oh, um, the looting? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Of course, 100%. Well, Van City is a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. That's true. You know, but, uh, yeah, it, everything closes at, like, 6 o'clock. So the looting and the thing at, like, 10 at night, I was very surprised. Yep. But, yeah. But, once again, another season of disappointment. Uh, if I could, if you're looking for a more in-depth look at all our failures over the years, might I direct you to uh, a video called The Toronto Maple Leafs, A Half Century of Failure by one of my most favorite YouTubers of all, by the name of Urinating Tree. His... Uh, Mr. Editor put the link right yep. here. And trust me, there is... N- I love this team. <clears throat> But seeing him absolute grind us into dust over a half century of stupidity, it hurt, but it's worth it. Give it a watch. Yeah. So as we say, as diehard Leafs fans... No, Leafs, no! (laughs) Every fall, every spring, go Jays, go. Go Jays! Go Jays. Have a great day, guys. Love ya. Love ya.